Welcome, Earthlings. My name is Planet Mitch, and I am from PlanetMyD.com, where we bring you the best in DSLR video and photography and all kinds of stuff. You might be wondering what this box is. This is the Emotimo TB3 motion control unit. Right now, I have it on a tripod with my 5D Mark III and the 70 to 200 to demonstrate two-axis motion control. This device is great for doing two-axis and three-axis motion control. Motion control is the function of making your camera do the same thing repeatedly. In time-lapse, for example, you want your camera to move in multiple ways. Now, sometimes you want just a motionless time-lapse, which is okay in which case you're just going to lock your camera down on a tripod. But say you want to do a tilt up while you're in doing your time lapse. Well, you need a motion control device to make that happen because your normal tripod won't let you do that unless you sit there manually and move it and that's a royal pain. So you need a motion control device. The TB3 does by default two motions, tilting and rotating. It can also do the third action when you attach it to a slider or some other method of moving from left to right. The third motion can also be vertical or on a diagonal if you want, depending upon how you have your slider set up and the motor, whether or not it can physically move the camera. And that's all dependent upon the motor that you have attached to the slider. Now, there are several different models of motors that you can get directly from Emotimo to help you make those motions in the third axis. But the cool thing is that that's totally repeatable. Let's say, for example, you want to shoot a video. We've talked about time lapse, but you can also use this for video where you want to make the same motion repeatedly. You're going to do the same thing over and over. You can program the TB3 to do that for you. This, for example, is the Philip Bloom Pocket Dolly. And I don't have it on a tripod because I've run out of tripods right now. You can see that I've added a motor, thanks to Brian over Emotimo, that will move the Philip Bloom Pocket Dolly left and right. So you can put the TB3 box right here and have it do that third axis. And like I said, you can tilt it if you want to. One of the great things about the Emotimo is the fact that they used a remote control, which is actually a game controller. This takes the control just about anywhere you want to go. So you can go some distance away from the device itself and still do the programming and the starting and stopping if you want to be out of frame or if you want to walk into frame, for example. Obviously, I think you need to be fairly close to see the control panel when you're doing the programming. It's really nice to be able to have this separate, and it's really simple to understand. We're all pretty familiar with game units and the joystick functionality and the buttons, so it makes it really easy to interface. The one thing that you do need to realize is that the motor is not completely silent. All of the motion control devices that I've seen make some noise, so you have to be able to have a way of recording audio separately. I mean, if you're doing a time lapse, obviously you're not going to use the audio from the surroundings, but you can record that separately without hearing the motor. Now I'm going to show you, using the joystick thumb control, how to move it. So you have the ability to rotate directly, left to right in 360 degree motion. Plus you have the ability to go up and down and obviously in any combination of those things. In the process of programming, what you do is, for example, if you're gonna do a two point move, you set the start point and then you click the button. So let's say that's the start point there. It asks you to go to the end point, so you use the joystick to move the camera where you want it to go. 
click the button again that says you've locked in the second point. So it's going back to the start position now and it's ready to shoot. If I had a third axis, you control that motion simply by using the joystick left and right. This one control does all three motions. So it's very easy and intuitive. One thing that is a little frustrating, and Brian tells me they may change this in a future release, but the only way to get it to stop, let's say you started it and you realize you've made a mistake, is to unplug it and turn the power off. That also resets the program, so if you wanted to repeat that, you have to be able to remember exactly how you had it set up. When you get to the very end of your program, there's an option to repeat it, and there's also an option to repeat it in the opposite direction, which is kind of cool if you wanted to go backwards in your program. Obviously, you can do those motions exactly the same way for video. It's just a different parameter. If you've ever done a time lapse, you probably realize that I don't have this set up exactly right because although I have the controller and I have the TV3 set up, I don't have the camera connected. And what you need to get is an extra cable, which you can get right from Brian and the crew at Emotimo to connect your camera to the Emotimo TV3 so that the program can fire the shutter in the increments that you asked it to do. If you're doing video, you don't need this. You can just start and stop it yourself on camera. But this extra cable is for doing the time lapse to fire the shutter. Um, and if you notice this, uh, this is a little trick I have. You probably can't see that very well, but I've taken a bread wrapper to identify which sets of cables because I keep getting lost as to what cable does what thing. So these little bread wrappers, the little things that come on the end of bread, at least here in the United States, you can write the name of the product or the cable on there. When you pick up the cable, you know what that particular cable is for because you have the right tag on it. I also do that with power cords because I end up with a million different bricks. And you also have to make sure that when you're getting the cable to do time lapse to fire the shutter, there are different controllers for different cameras, so make sure you get the right cable. While I've been able to use this, I've had virtually no problems other than the thing that I had to learn about taking the power off in order to terminate a program because I messed up a couple of times. And yes, you'll probably do that too. There's very little to mess up with this though. Once you understand the program and you have the ability to do two and three point moves, it's pretty awesome. There are several examples on the Emotimo website um, with the repeated moves, for example, you can record the same scene multiple times and say you want three of the same person to be in the scene. You can do kind of tricks like that. There are quite a few different things that you can do just besides time lapse, although this is a really awesome device for doing that. The TV3 that I have here runs about $1,000, just a little bit less than that. You can get a couple of models below that um, I think the $850 has a wired remote instead of the wireless remote that I have. So it's, it's really fairly inexpensive. There are other motion control devices on the market and I have not been able to compare side by side which one is better or worse. I've only had access to this one and to the Genie from Syrup and they're really kind of two different devices, and I'll do a video about the differences between those two. It's very simple to mount your camera. You don't need a screwdriver, and I really appreciate Brian and the team having a thumb screw set up for doing that instead of having to have another tool. Two mounting points. You can't really see it from way back there but there are two mounting points on the head. Below in the post on planet5d.com, you will see several examples that have been shot with the TB3. Uh, we have posted several videos before that have been done with the TB3, and they're really awesome. Especially notice in the Las Vegas one, how there are some scenes where they did a shoot in Las Vegas, and they did the motion during the daytime, and then because they had it programmed 
and the camera was in the same exact spot. When it was nighttime, they did the exact same moves. It was very easy to transition between daytime and nighttime because the TV3 did the exact same move at the exact same time frame. So it was very smooth. Make sure you watch that in the Las Vegas time lapse below. It comes with this awesome bag that you can put all your cables and the power adapter and everything else inside. So you have one nice little kit to carry around. The other thing that Brian sent along with the TV3 for a demo is this Anchor battery. Nice little device. I really enjoyed using this uh, because not only does it power the TV3, but it has several USB slots. And guess what? You can charge your phone at the same time that you're running the TV3. It lasted forever. When I was out shooting time lapses at night, I could set it and run the camera for three, four hours and didn't have any trouble with losing power. Great little idea to have a battery pack to go with your TV3. So if you don't have an extension cord to your backyard, you can just use this and plug it in and use the battery instead. It's great. And Brian's girlfriend makes some awesome chocolate chip cookies with salt. When Brian sent me these cookies that he made with his girlfriend's recipe, I thought it was crazy because I'd never heard of salt on a chocolate chip cookie. But man, they're awesome. That's a Planet 5D quick look at the Emotimo TV3 motion control that does two axes as well as three axes if you want to. You can do time lapses and video and control the heck out of your motion. It's an awesome device for under $1,000 if you need to do time lapses with some sexy motion in them. Give some life to your time lapse or to your videos with the Emotimo TV3. Stay tuned for samples and a walkthrough of the menu setup. This is a quick run through of the typical setup for a time lapse with the Emotimo TV3. First, you connect your joystick, turning the power on on my joystick, and now we have the ability to run through a two point move. First, click C to do a two point move. Then you use the joystick to move the... That's all blurry, isn't it? Move it to your start point. Click C. Move to the end point. Click C. Set the interval. Generally, you know, if you're doing a daytime time lapse, maybe one second. You can use the joystick to change that. Click C. How long do you want to run? You can change that. Notice it's telling you how many frames you're going to shoot. Set that. Uh, static time we tend to leave all by itself. Uh, that's the amount of time that the camera is going to be stationary before it shoots. Do you want to do ramping, meaning you want to gently start the motion? You can change 50 frames or you can do a quick ramp and or not do any. If you set it to zero or one, I guess one frame is no ramp. Now you're ready to go. So camera moves to the start point, and when you're ready, you click C and it starts running. Please make sure to tune in to our Planet 5D podcast. We are recording those live every week now on Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Sign up at extras.planet5d.com slash podcast and join us every week where you can interact with our guests by asking questions in the chat room. 
Also, don't forget that you can get one of these. The Planet 5D t-shirts. You can get that at planet5d.com slash t-shirt. Thanks for watching Planet 5D. This is Planet Mitch saying over and out. All that's just useless. The Emotimo TB3 time control, time control. It controls time. Yes, it does. I would need to control my motion. This is Planet 5D.